Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In today's video we're going to talk about something that happened at the tour of Denmark recently where we saw a very unusual aftermath to a crash. This video once again brings up the topic of motor doping and whether or not it occurs in the professional peloton. Motor doping has been a very hypothetical topic in the sport of cycling with a lot of speculation and very few instances of proven cases. However, concrete proof emerged in 2016 when Femke van den Driesen was was banned for six years for mechanical doping and as well as that was fined 20,000 Swiss francs by the UCI. In recent years there have been plenty of speculations and a recent article by Cycling News said during the Tour de France this year three anonymous riders claimed to hear strange noises from four teams rear wheels during the race. This of course just lifts everyone's eyebrows just a bit more on the matter of motor doping. Earlier in the year as well, the former boss of the French anti-doping body accused Lance Armstrong of motor doping as well during his career, saying that the Texans admittance of using EPO can't solely explain his extraordinary performances as well. So the suspicions of motor doping are well and truly still alive, but the UCI have protocols in place to check for such things. For example, recently in pro races we have seen the use of heat sensors used and also in the earlier case with Femke and Van den Driesen the bike concerned was scanned using the new magnetic resonance deployed by the UCI. But looking back to the tour of Denmark let's revisit today's crash. In the incident we can see that the rider crashes and lands to the side of the road however the bike continues to move across the road taking out another rider at speed this speed and the force of the bike is what casts doubts over what's happening the wind as well the wind cast doubts over it being solely the wind you could also say that this is the trap kinetic energy within the bike as it's only a seven kilogram bike that's being flung across the road but of course it's quite substantial to generate that amount of force but the riders equally are going at 60 kilometers an hour you were a thought here as well so it just doesn't look that good but of course this doubt could also just be eradicated by the simple physics lesson that it probably might be or the potential win that we just can't see well enough from the pictures that might be there as well so what what does this actually mean for the sport? Who knows really? With electric motors and e-bikes developing so quickly to meet the consumer demands that we have and getting better every year, this could mean that this could become the new edge in professional cycling if the UCI don't stamp it out with urgency of course. That's basically it for this video. Make sure to let us know down in the comments below what you think of this strange incident at the Tour of Denmark. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay up to date with all the videos we're doing as well. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.